It is six minutes past five in the morning and uh, we are now in a position to say that this election of 2019 formally has been won by the Conservatives. They're now on 327 seats. It is 326 on the finishing line, so they will then proceed now to a bigger majority. But we can now say that based on the results that have come in, 598 seats in, 51 to go, the Conservatives are now on 328. They have passed the finishing line and they have formally won this election. And that, Laura, is a big moment. It's a huge moment. It's a huge moment for Boris Johnson, of course, who a year ago was written off by many people. It's an enormous moment for the Conservative Party, having had a torrid and turbulent time when they saw their majority being whittled away. And then when he threw some people out of the party, they went backwards. But they had a couple of years of agony of having to rely on the Democratic Unionist Party from Northern Ireland. And then before that, you know, David Cameron with a very, very rocky time. I mean, it seemed like a big victory for him at the time of getting a majority of 15. But this means probably more than anything else in terms of the historical significance for it. Unless something very strange happens, we will be leaving the European Union next month. And that answers the biggest question of British politics for the last three and a half years is, was what happened in 2016 actually going to happen or not? Because that is the question that has paralysed Parliament. The previous Parliament was not able to agree on how to leave mm. and therefore we did not agree. They didn't agree on whether we would leave. The public has answered that question tonight and that is what this Prime Minister will do. And of course the size of his majority beyond this will dictate how much freedom and how radical he may or may not be to do other things and to pursue other projects. Well, the results are still coming in. Why don't we have a look at the Palace of Westminster, which is where all the activity will start within a few days' time. And we are projecting the result as it's happening uh, on the Palace of Westminster, on the banks of the River Thames. And there we have it so far. The Conservatives on 330 actually has now just gone up to 331. Uh, with Labour on 197, so they're now way past that uh, finishing mark of 326 and the numbers are going up, they're now on 332, so we're heading towards that uh, majority that uh, John Curtis was telling, about, uh, telling us about a, a short while ago. So the news, if you're just joining us here on election 2019, at 8 minutes past 5 in the morning, is that the Conservatives are now past the finishing post. They have won a majority in this campaign, and that is the formal result for us uh, as they head towards, of course, a much bigger majority, a majority of at least uh, 50, possibly 60 seats.